Hi, this is Dan Bell, and this is my video tour of the Tri-State Mall in Claymont, Delaware. It opened in 1970, and if you're on 95 North going toward Philadelphia, you can see their water tower with Tri-State Mall on the side. This quote from Label Scarp pretty much sums up this mall perfectly. Um, we're going to go inside. This mall is very dated looking. I don't know if they've ever, um, done any kind of renovations or updates to anything. Uh, it's all pretty much, I think, as it was when it opened. As you'll see, it is, uh, really quite a gem of vintage mall, um aesthetics and here we are inside the main entrance and you can see that little jewelry stand there called Mia's Depot most of this mall is, is closed um, there's two anchor stores there's a um, Burlington Coat Factory on one side and then on the other side used to be a Kmart uh, but the Kmart shut down I believe on the left here we'll see a little bit later I believe that was a Wendy's at one time I was looking up news articles, and I believe a woman... I found a news article about a woman slipping in Wendy's inside of Tri-State Mall and suing Wendy's over it. Here's their main skylight that looks down the corridors. The building is kind of like a... It's a plus shape. Uh, you don't see, see stores like Man's World anymore. Look at that. And the thing that's sad is this mall is really run down, and the people that still have businesses there, you know, they take such great care of their businesses, and that's, it's just, it's sad. It's a depressing mall, um, because you have the few businesses that are in there, you know, people really care about their businesses, and then the rest of it is just run down as can be. Look at this. This is the old movie theater. I think this is uh, one of the theaters here, one of the entrances anyway. That door that we just saw is, was covered with uh, graffiti. I guess people sneak in there and write on the walls. Here's a shot down and watch this. This is so cool. Wasn't that awesome? So that's a public access show uh, that they used to tape in the mall. Found that on YouTube. Here's a look inside one of the uh, stores. I don't know. Uh, I guess this was a women's clothing store. Now this is what I believe was a Wendy's at one time. If there's anyone out there that knows, please let us know if this was a Wendy's. It certainly looks like one of the old Wendy's stores with the tabletops and the seating. And this place, uh, I don't know if their grand opening ever happened. This is inside where Kmart was. Now completely cleaned out. More storefronts that are empty. I would say out of the maybe 50, 40 or 50 spaces inside, there's about, let me think. There's a, uh, five or six that are filled with uh, business businesses, but um, I don't think anything else is in there. And this is a small place. It's not. It's not big at all. It's a small place. It's a depressing place. Um, this one store here on the left. I'll give you a peek inside. It has the same decor as it had in the 1980s. It's still up. Uh, you could you could put racks in there and I mean you, you could film a movie in there with like a 1980s store and you wouldn't have to do anything. Look at that. It's incredible. And they even have this uh you know the silver um little tile things. Those were so popular in the 80s in malls. Here's a, a look inside one of the bigger stores and look at the ceiling falling in and everything. Looks terrible. I'm going to look in this one here. 
And this is walking back toward uh, the center court. That's creepy looking. So anyway, we are nearing the end of this video. Very short video because the mall is so small. One more look up at the skylight here. There we can see a nail shop too. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Vine at This Is Dan Bell.